Hello, everyone, and thank you for joining us today. My name is Robert Stickle. I'm also joined by my colleague, Paul Estabrooks. Paul will be today's presenter and will discuss the topic of collaborative work and project management in Microsoft Teams. And as always, I hope that today's presentation grants you some insight into the world of project and portfolio management and gets you excited for the new developments happening within the industry and here at OnePlan. Remember, if you'd like access to these slides or have any questions, feel free to reach out to contact at oneplan.ai and we would be more than happy to assist you. Thank you again, and I'll now turn the presentation over to Paul. Thanks very much, Robert. Thanks to everyone for joining us today. We're gonna to present today our new collaborative work and project management solution for Teams. So I'm gonna sort of set the background here with a few slides and then and a quick overview of what this solution has. And then we'll spend some time walking through a demo of this solution and, and where we see it fitting in sort of the, the broad scope of solutions that we offer in the Microsoft world. So who are we? We're OnePlan Solutions. We are the current Microsoft Partner of the Year for Project and Portfolio Management. We're also a finalist for Power Apps and Power Automate Award. So we are a longtime partner in this space. We're continually trying to come up with new solutions to help our clients with their project and portfolio management needs across a variety of platforms in the Microsoft space. This one today obviously focused very much on the Microsoft Teams platform. So we, again, we work on all these different platforms, whether it's Microsoft 365, the Power Platform, we have lots of solutions in that space, Azure, and then our own technologies as well. Uh, we are focused on the business agility and transformation of our clients. Lots of our clients are coming to us looking to manage projects and manage work and all the sort of new methods that are out there and the new requirements that are being placed on them. And we're here to help them accomplish that. So the current trends, this is what we see when we talk to customers all the time, is that there is this ongoing digital transformation. Uh, obviously, with the pandemic and whatnot, people have been asked to work in lots of different places and lots of different circumstances. And so we need to have new tools and new approaches for how we do that. Microsoft talks a lot about that over the last few years as they've sort of reimagined the project itself as well in looking at how do we help organizations manage work in all of its forms and engage audiences that need different tools, want to work in different methods, but still be a part of something uh, you know, at the core, still be a part of a, of a greater whole as they work through all these things. So Teams obviously over the last couple of years has exploded in its use case. And what people are looking for is how do I manage work in that environment that I work in all day, every day? And so that's what we're gonna talk about and show with the solution that we are, that we are proposing. So as Microsoft said, teams work the way they want, but we want to make sure that enterprises get the results they need. So this is a leveraging of the teams and the teams user experience, as well as one plan and its core capabilities around the work plan, uh, reporting, portfolio management, and all the rest of it. And that's what you'll see in this demo. Teams, I don't need to tell most people this, but teams is sort of the hub of, of teamwork across my, the Microsoft platform. We use it in our own organization and most organizations do for chat, meetings, phone calls, presentations, all kinds of things. And what we're gonna to bring today to the table is the ability to also manage projects and work within that same core user experience. And our job here is to make the power to make project management simple. So collaborative project and work management embedded in teams. That's what we wanna to demonstrate today. So the current work management reality that we see with clients is some people want to be able to use tasks lists. Some want to be able to use a waterfall schedule, like it's Microsoft Project or some other tool. Some want to manage with sprints. Some want to manage with boards. And it's very common that you'll see that across an organization, these different styles and approaches and, and levels of maturity and whatnot and how they want to approach things. But when it comes time to understand where we're at and what's going on, we end up with this. We end up with reports of all different shapes and sizes. They're manual. The methods for gathering updates is convoluted and often disparate depending on how it's being managed. And there is no common place to work with. The solution that we're gonna to show today is designed to help address this. So we're gonna be able to do task lists within teams, within one plan. You can take that approach. We'll be able to do waterfall. If you want to take that to the next level and turn that schedule into something more robust with dependencies and all the rest of it, that's there as well. If you want to manage using sprints, I'll show you how we do that within that same work plan. 
or if you want to be able to manage with boards. So all of those capabilities. But when it comes time to doing that statusing and understanding of where we're at, it all rolls up to a single user interface that the end users can use to status the information and provide the feedback that you need to manage those projects, and then be able to give you the ability to make those decisions. Where am I? Where are my resources? Where are people working right now? And we're gonna do all of that within Teams. So I'm gonna quickly walk through some of these modules, and then you'll see them in action. So the solution really has these four core components. The ability to look at a portfolio, so that all up portfolio view of my projects, we'll show that. Uh, work plan in two different forms, whether that's in a schedule form, going from a task list right through to a schedule, or more of an agile approach using boards and sprints, or some combination of both. And you'll see in the demo, I'll use a project that has both in it. And then the My Work component, which comes from our core product, to be able to capture that status information, whether that's in the list that you see here on the screen or even using a board itself, so that we understand where we are and how we are progressing across this various types of work. So in detail, when we create a project, we'll be able to go in and create details around that project. Who owns it? How does it align to other things that we're doing? What type of project is it? Where is it? Some basic core information that we always need to know. If we want to simply manage it as more of a task list type approach, there's an example of one on the screen. So create a very simple schedule with a list of tasks and due dates. Maybe we want to take it to that next level and potentially using either a template or by building out a schedule in the work plan, be able to do full scale waterfall scheduling or project where necessary or where the, that's the desire and how they want to work. Perhaps they want to take a different approach as a project team and use the backlog and then create sprints and drag and drop items into each sprint so that they can manage accordingly that way. So we'll show that as well. And lastly, potentially they want to simply use boards. Where am I? What have I, what tasks have I done? And where am I in my progress of my project? And I want us to take a Kanban type approach to this. All of those are going to be available in this solution and I'll show a link to them in the demo. Likewise, someone may need to manage issues, risks, and changes, the other things that come up in a project, the other work types. And I wanna be able to roll those back so that I can get status on those as well from my team. So we'll show that as well. The solution also includes this ability to go in and see on a given project, where are my resources assigned? So I'm gonna show this, the show resource capability to see how we have assigned resources to tasks, where we might have conflicts. You can see the red in the, in the screenshot and how we might manage that accordingly in terms of moving work around within the project team that I'm managing. So some lightweight, but very useful resource management. The solution also includes this idea of an activity. So the idea that I can create an activity underneath a task or underneath some other item so that I can go in and say, in addition to this task, there are things I need to do under it. There's some to-dos that I wanna make sure people are aware of and are watching and are assigned to those so that they can status those as well. And then lastly, the ability to collaborate within Teams, to leverage Teams and all of its strength and power. Each of these projects is set up so that it creates its own Teams environment for all that other collaboration that goes on in a project, whether that's wikis, uh, chats and posts, document management related to the project, or any other things that you may want to incorporate from your team's environment that helps enable a project team to be effective, to communicate, to be on top of things and to execute and get the project done. It's all there for us to use. In the portfolio side, we've included some list capabilities so that you can quickly see your projects, organize them by whatever criteria you might have, such as and you see here in the screenshot, a business unit, and a lightweight Gantt chart view of that to see how all the projects line up. So some, some reasonable uh, capability there within the portfolio to, to see it and view it in its entirety and understand where everything is. Uh, and then to leverage Power BI to go in and do reporting on, the, on all this work and see we've developed a report pack it's available with the solution to specifically focused on the kinds of data that we are including in this solution that we're offering. And lastly, we've included our Insights AI capability. 
So a set of insights that focus on work plan items so that we can continue to try and get better and be able to highlight for individuals uh, where they have an overdue task or some other, cap some other information that they need to provide as well as the ability to quickly jump into a plan that they're working on, you know, engage in a conversation about a project or an item uh, and see what's due soon for them to get done, what things they need to be working on and focused on. So we continue to add to this capability, but we've included it here to focus on items uh, that come out of the work plan and then you're doing work management. The solution is available in Teams and I'm gonna sort of start there in the left rail and you can power that through. And then you can obviously extend it using the rest of the Microsoft platform as necessary. But specifically, I wanted to call out that it's available in the left navigation. And that's kind of where we're going to begin the demo journey here shortly. Right now. So I'll jump over to the demo. I'm in Teams. I just jumped into the activity pages for a quick second. And you can see here in my left navigation that I have one plan. So if I click on that, it's going to take me out here, sign me in. Make this a different way. There we go. I'll come into it the other way. I would have landed on this page, so I'll just simply go to this page. So I could jump to it from the left rail, or I could come in right from here. So I have in here a team site devoted to this particular demo, like this PMO, if you will. And you can see I've landed on the home page. I've got a couple of overdue tasks and one due this week. So again, that insights information surfacing to me right away, things that I need to be made aware of as a user of the system so that I can react to those accordingly and go, gee, those three that are overdue, I better status those right away or make sure they are done. You'll see down below, I've got a couple of things to do here but, and some chats I'm in, but also the projects that I am working on uh, that are quick recent ones that I've touched that I wanna be able to go back to. I could come in and quickly start a new project. So I could say I want a new project plan or a new agile plan. So we've included two sample templates here for people to start off with right away and run with and get going in the manner that they want to work. So there's two there available right out of the gate. I'm gonna use some of the ones that I have. I'm gonna start with this return to office project. So I'm gonna click on this, jump over to the details for a second first. I could come in here and describe what this project is. I gave it a name. I'm the manager of it. I've got an executive sponsor. It's in a proposed state. I'm starting to capture some more information about it. Uh, I've given it an initial budget. Another information that you might want to capture, this form is configurable. And you can see down here some status information. If we may use that later. It's also got a team site set up. So we could jump out and do more collaboration there. But I want to focus this particular one just quickly on sort of the ease of use of the schedule. So I've come in and I've created a few tasks. I've started to sort of give them duration and due dates and so forth. I'm sort of treating this almost like a task list. So I might want to, if I just say enter on a new item, uh, I need to order office signage, as we've all seen in any of these scenarios where we need to know. Um, it took two days to organize and so forth, and I could assign it to an individual. And I'm just starting to generate a very straightforward task list in here. It's all click and go. I can continue to add tasks. I can assign them to a resource. I'll assign that to myself right now, close, and so forth. And I can quickly build out a task list. If I wanted to do more than that, uh, I might come in here and say, well, you know what? I'm going to actually take this to the next level. And I want to put in a template. I, I'm going to just grab one quickly and throw that in and say, yes, and I'm going to add that to my plan. Once that comes in, it will add more tasks. You could see, now I've still got my initial ones and I could move those into where they belong in the schedule, or I could start to fill out some more information in here. So I've transitioned from task list to a much more robust schedule just by inserting a template. And the solution includes a set of of common templates to help people get started. I could stay with just the task list if I wanted to, or I could grab the template and start to build a full, more robust waterfall schedule. I'm gonna abandon this one, but I wanna to go to a different project and spend some more time on some of these same capabilities. So I'm gonna jump into this next one. So this one was started off of a template, it has some more information. So you can see here, if I quickly explode this out, you'll see all the different tasks here. And I might, I now I want to dig into this a little bit more. This is a full Gantt chart. It's a Gantt, you know, scheduled project. I can link tasks, move tasks, increase duration, increase effort, 
assign resources, all of the things you would typically do in a waterfall schedule. So something a little more robust than a straight task list, but they're all here in the same user interface, the same experience. So I'm gonna drop the team for a second, give myself a bit more room. One of the things I might want to do is I want to go show activities and I'm going to add an activity in on this particular task. And I'm going to say, you know, uh, book meeting rooms. And I can assign that to a resource. So underneath, underneath that particular task, I could have a set of activities. The common requirement that people will ask for is being able to create these little items that help form and make a part of that task so that we can make sure that we're on top of all the things that we need to do in completing this particular schedule. So very quickly, I can create activities against any task in the schedule. I also, instead, I might wanna look at that resource usage. So while I'm here, I'm gonna go in and look at my resource usage. It's pulling up that data against the schedule and you could see you know, which tasks that I'm logged in as Daniel, which tasks Daniel is working on. As I scroll through the project schedule, you'll see time and effort show up. So I can manage and govern my project accordingly based on the resources that I've assigned to the project to look for conflicts and other challenges, potentially assign, reassign tasks across the different schedule. So some lightweight resource schedule management that I want to do uh, against this particular project to ensure that we're not uh, fooling ourselves as we schedule the project and not having line of sight to where certain resources may be overburdened and others may be underutilized. We can optimize the resourcing quickly here by showing the resource work or usage rather. And now, so we have all that capability here to do this type of work. Now let's jump over to the backlog. I'm gonna look at the backlog here quickly. So this project has a bit of both. It has both a, a waterfall component to it, and we've also included in it a backlog or an agile type approach to, to work in this schedule. So you can see here, here's all my user stories and features and I've articulated, I could continue to add more. So I come up here and add a new item and put it in. I, I could say, uh, I'm actually gonna do that. So I'm gonna add a new item here and I'm going to say uh, enable system, whoops, for uh, passwordless access. That's a popular topic. And I'm gonna say that's, a, call that a user story. I'm gonna add that in. Let's say it's going to take, let's say, uh, effort. Sorry, we use points. So it's going to be eight points. Why not? And then I'm going to assign a resource to it, assign myself for now. And I've quickly just sort of grabbed and sort of built that out. What I've also done here is I, I have in here sprints. Because I want to manage this using sprints, I have a series of sprints where we have dragged and dropped some tasks in. Now, that new task I just put in, I haven't put anywhere. So I'll put it into that sprint. Now, if I click on that sprint, you'll see it has some other work in it, but the task that I just put in is now a part of that sprint. So very quickly, we can organize this project to see which tasks and which items are in each sprint, where we might have too many items because we're over on our points budget and so forth. And if I needed to add a new sprint, well, I'll just add one quickly. I could define what that is. Sprint number seven, what is my duration? What is my target points or target hours that I want to sort of, as my budget, if you will, and then I can define that sprint and start to put tasks into it as well. So it enables this very quick uh, sprint planning exercise uh, that some people, that's becoming a very popular way of managing things. So here we have that capability here in this solution. Finally, I potentially wanna just look at this in a completely different way, and I wanna manage my project using boards. So here we are looking at the tasks that we have in the schedule, but we're gonna manage this using a Kanban type approach and say, what haven't I started? What's in process? What's completed? What's deferred? And potentially I wanna put lanes in that are uh, you know, my teams or my, you know, a group of people that I'm working with to see where do I fit, where do, which groups have work, which don't, how might I move that work around to ensure that it's getting done. So all of those different techniques for managing a project are available to me here, all within this work plan, all embedded in Teams. I can assign work to resources through a schedule, through a task list, a more simple schedule, if you will, through, through a sprint and through the agile planning or right here in the boards.
all that capability is there. Lastly, if I jump back to, just quickly here, to list to my schedule, I actually can do it wherever I was, is you could also come in here and capture things like risks, issues, and changes, and actually view them here in the schedule where they belong. So where does that issue apply? I can have that show up in my schedule so that I can react to it accordingly and say, gee, not only do I have these tasks to do, there's also an issue that's sort of underneath that same summary task that I should resolve. So having done all of that, all that different types of planning, what we see from customers is, well, now how on earth do I get status and progress on this from my team? How do I engage them? You know, they've been scheduled on this project in a, in a sprint fashion, and over here they've been assigned to tasks and so forth. How do they see it all? So if I come up here to my work, and remember I'm logged in as, as Daniel, and I could scroll through these different tasks and see all the things that have been assigned to me as a resource. Now that task that I did uh, a few minutes ago on that, that board was, I put it so far out in the future, it won't appear on this particular page, but you can see some of the ones that I have overdue, uh, some of the ones I have due soon and so forth out into, out into the future based on the lens that I'm looking at. But what's important to note, a couple of things. One, this is actually a risk that I need to work on and I need to status the risk. Here's a few tasks that came from a schedule from software development, the project we were just in. There's an issue from that project here. Uh, there's some changes. In the return to office project, there's a task that I did, the development safety plan. That's due in the next seven days. Backlog items, again, coming from the software development project. So from a variety of different projects, are everything from tasks to issues to a change request to some backlog items. They're all appearing here for me to status them as I see fit. And I can just quickly say, well, I'm at 50% done on that particular one. And that will circle back as an update to the project manager of the software development project. But perhaps I wanna organize this differently. Perhaps I want to view this and manage my work using a board. I have that capability as well. I could scroll through the stuff that I haven't started. Uh, where's that safety plan? Yep, let's say I'm in progress on that. I can now status the safety plan from right here using a board instead of the list. Everyone works a little bit differently and we're trying to accommodate those different styles. So for many of us, a list where I can just look through and say what's due right now and where am I? Uh, is very useful, but there's that safety plan. It's now been status because I did it in the board. So we're engaging the audience from here in Teams the way that they need to work. We're giving them multiple methods for statusing all of the work that's being assigned to them from those variety of techniques and variety of task items or task types being risks, issues, backlog items, and tasks. I'm gonna loop back to kind of where we began this a little bit with the portfolio. So we do give you these different lists to come in and look at different things. So I'm looking at the plan summary right now and I can quickly see sort of where we are in terms of status. That would be that status information that was on the details page I showed earlier. Maybe I wanna look at it in a schedule summary so you can see some Gantt chart type views and where we are today and be able to look at stuff. We also give you the ability to do some simple prioritization. So if I do this, I can start to prioritize my projects by literally dragging them up and down the list. So I have a prioritization. There was a little scoring method that we used, but I can now drag and drop prioritize and do a stack ranking of my projects, both active and proposed, and decide which ones are higher priority. I want them at the top of the list because that's what we should be spending our, and focusing our efforts on, and others we want to move down the list, return to the office project we haven't even really Put on the list so I just created it. So where does it belong? Maybe because we are trying to get back to work, it needs to come up the list. So I want it actually first. So some simple prioritization against the work that we are trying to manage across these different types of projects, independent of the style or the approach that's being used, we're able to come in here and start to look at where they are and see how they're progressing. And again, have a variety of views and you can create other views that show how you're performing whether it's budget, schedule, status, all that information. So for an end user, uh, for, for, for a manager, not only can I create my schedules the way I need to uh, and, and act, execute on them and give people that freedom, I have the ability here to make prioritization decisions and to create some simple dashboards to learn more about 
uh, how they are progressing and where we are doing well and where we are not and where we need to react to issues. I'm going to jump back to the slide deck here. So some quick summary. Microsoft Teams is a powerful hub for collaboration. We all use it, many of us every day, all day. Uh, there are a lot of different ways and apps within Teams to do work management. There's lots of tools from Microsoft and other partners and other, pro other companies. What we're trying to do is to bring all of that together into a single user experience, meet people where they are, provide them with the variety that they need to get stuff done, not try and dictate which tool they want to use. Uh, but rather keep it more broad and give them that flexibility, yet be able to engage the end user in a meaningful method for providing an update and status on the project, on the work that they're doing, where are they progressing, give them that ability to collaborate uh, and communicate with their, with their peers, with their teams on what's progressing well, what's not, where do they need help, uh, and, and, and drive that forward to get to a successful conclusion of a project. Uh, the solution does integrate with Microsoft Projects, so in some cases clients need to use something more robust, so I didn't show that in the demo, but it does do that as well. But it also does support, as you saw, both agile and waterfall type methodologies simultaneously. I showed you one that was all in the same project, but they could have been broken apart into different projects and different types of work scenarios. So that we're trying to meet customers that have that hybrid work environment today. Some projects need to be done in waterfall. Some people prefer to work that way, and others want to move to more modern agile approaches. This solution provides both. In summary, we are, our next webinar next week will again look at Teams, but we're going to take a different tact on that one. We're going to look at corporate strategy and how we align work execution to that strategy. So we're going to spin this around and kind of look at it in a more enterprise fashion uh, and how you articulate strategy. Uh, and objectives and key results, and then how you link them to the projects you're trying to do to ensure that you're uh, optimizing your investments across the organization. Again, all inside teams, trying to stay with that focus, but a very different spin on that experience. If you did want to trial what uh, you saw today, the Collaborative and Project Work Management Solution is up in AppSource. You can go to appsource.com and search for that, and you will find it, and you can start your own free trial. The trial will be outside of Teams, but it is sort of the whole Teams user experience. We also have some other ones there as well around strategic portfolio management, which will be what we're covering next week, Agile, Adaptive, and PSA. I want to thank you all for your time. If you want to reach out to us, you can certainly reach us at contact at oneplan.ai. Uh, I appreciate you coming today for this session, and hopefully you found this very, very useful. Thank you very much.